Um, so today, I went to Target and found two very unexpected things. To begin with, Hasbro Toys and Tonka presents Marine One. They call it the Tonka Air Commander, but this is clearly Marine One because you can see the massive cockpit it has to hold all the Secret Service, media, and presidential staff. Now, the next thing that I found at Target was this, the Thunder Tumbler, which is an RC stunt car. And I promised I would make another RC video. Well, today is the, the day. I'm going to unbox this live, and we're going to do a test drive. I also brought my little handy-dandy screwdriver in case it is needed. styrofoam that may mean that may be a good sign because a lot of these vehicles are not and sometimes they're broken even before they get out of the package all the way and this might mean that it wasn't made in China like other remote control cars of this type well that's one way to get it out, I guess. There we go. Alright, now, let's get it out of the styrofoam. Well, this is crazy looking. Check this thing out. It's pretty sweet. I've never seen wheels like that. Alright, let's see. Do I need a driver to open this battery compartment? On this, it looks like it, but I cannot tell. I guess maybe you don't, because I don't see any screw holes. Actually, I don't even see where the battery compartment is on this crazy thing. Pretty awesome looking car though, I can't wait to use it. Pause it for a second. It just, it'll turn it off. Actually, there's a way you can um, do that where it'll add to the same video if you do that. Just let me bring it over here. Do you need a driver or not? In your finger. Is this little hole right there? Is that the, where a screwdriver should go? This? Mm hmm. Oh no, here you go. There you oh, go. you slide it out like that. about that folks but since this is a new car I had to figure out how to get the thing open
Okay. I'll put my new Duracell Quantum batteries that I got special for this thing. See if I can get this in there right without messing it up. Does it turn on when I do that? Yep. Now? Yep. It's on. All right. Now I need to find the remote wherever it can be. Here it is. need a driver for this either, looks like. Never hurts to be prepared. Because some, some of these remote control cars are ridiculously hard to use because they have to be unscrewed and you have to unscrew them out of the box and all kinds of stuff. However, this one looks like it's made pretty well, and I actually got it for a really good price. I only got it, uh, I got it for about 12, uh, 12 to 13 dollars at Target today, so. I think we may have this ready now. Great. You forgot to push those little clamps over top of the battery compartment to keep it in. Are they the things that are okay? I see. There's two of them. Yeah, I know. I see it. It's solid now. You gotta turn the car on. I know. I know what I'm doing now. Now I got the battery thing all figured out. <laughs> that thing's loud. Yeah, and if it tears up my furniture, I'm not going to be happy. Well, I apologize if it does. I haven't put the antenna on the remote yet. I'm going to do that after I figure out how to drive it. This thing is cool. I've never seen anything quite like this. This is the closest thing I've seen to that tarantula that Tycho made. And uh, now I just need to find the antenna for the remote. I don't see it in there. It's got to be in this. I don't see it in there either. Yeah, see, that's what look about Look on the piece that broke off. No. Probably 
see why I can't find the antenna. What's all this? That's a packet of silicone. You sure it, it's not one of the uh, antennas that, like, retract? Well, see, there's a spot for it right there. Well, it looks like it works without it. Yeah. Look at what it just did. <laughs> that thing is awesome. I think that's something that maybe we need to let you play with in the garage. Where you have more room. Well, I am kind of doing it in a silly location right now. There's a great space over where by the dining room is. Well, so that's the car, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please comment and tell me what you thought about it. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this car.